So if you move your pelvis that way, you will be a ball striking god and the most powerful version of you you can be. If you want effortless golf, make sure you move your pelvis this way. So for me, the pelvis has kind of three key roles I wanted to play in the golf swing. In the backswing, I want the pelvis to move what I would call deep and rotated. In the transition, I want it to move lateral. And then as we go through impact or just pre-impact through impact, then I want it to rotate and push up. So if you move your pelvis that way, you will be a ball striking god and the most powerful version of you you can be. So it's pretty important. What I see with most amateur golfers is a sway or a bracing action in the backswing with not enough depth, not enough of this hip turn. In the downswing, too much rotation and falling back and then too low and finish because the upper body gets ahead. So those are the kind of sins we see with most golfers and then most elite players we see the moves we talked about. Now the amount of rotation will vary depending on flexibility and how it matches up with what the arm swing's doing, to be honest with you. The flatter the swing, or the more rounded the swing, let's say, the more the hips are gonna rotate. The more up and down the swing goes, you might find there's less rotation and you might have some more slide in the swing, slide in the hips possibly, depending on the golfer. So what we wanna do then is feel that we get the depth. In the back swing's the first key move. So in order to achieve that depth, we're moving this handle, I put it across my pelvis here, back and up. And when I do that, this knee kind of draws in. It doesn't rotate out, that's important. It draws in. So we want to feel we get that kind of action. And even just getting the club across our pelvis like this and doing these exercises is key to feel what we want to do. Then, as I said, it's a lateral movement. As I move laterally, this leg straightens a little bit. This one bends a little bit and this one works in a little bit. Then again, as I rotate through the golf ball, the left leg straightens more and the weight goes from the toe more towards the heel. And then the last bit, when we kind of push up, the right leg then will straighten or push off my rear foot a little bit more. So what we can do is try and motivate these hips to do these actions. So there's a drill I'll show you which will work on the motivation of the hips moving up and through. Initially, the first thing we're gonna work on is making the hips move deeper in the backswing. So if I start off with just a rod in between my legs like this, this is the easiest way to do it on your own. In the backswing then, I'd wanna feel that my calf or my back of my knee works in towards this. The knee's working in and up like this. And that's the first part, just feeling can I get that calf and knee to move that way. Now you can use a rod, you can use a basket if you're on the range. You can use a box of some sort, but it's just something to give you some kinesthetic feedback if you're getting that hip depth. Then when we go and hit the golf ball, I wanna feel, can I get that kinesthetic movement? Not too worried about the fall through. It's all about training the hip depth and hip rotation in the backswing. And we want the hips to rotate about 45 degrees in the backswing. So again, depending on your flexibility, if you're anything probably between 35 and 55 degrees, I'd be, that's pretty cool. So in the downswing, we want that lateral move. So I've got this rod here now, again, for a bit of kinesthetic feedback. We want the hips to move in transition about five to six inches towards target as we would start the downswing. And it's probably really important to say that you need to feel this is happening before you complete the backswing. So the real energy on this exercise would be, once you take your stance, you can put a golf bag here or a rod. We wanna feel, as my arms get to probably about chest high, I'm starting to feel that lateral move. So depth, lateral. And that's what I'm trying to feel purely on this part of the swing. And the finish, we'd want to feel that we're kind of against this rod, but obviously if we've rotated, we'll be a bit more round the corner, as it were, to where the rod is situated. But this would form part two. So what you can do is do 10 balls in part one, 10 balls in part two, then we can go to part three, 
which is all about then the movement up and through the golf swing. So the last part is really all about up, extension up, and motivating the hips to want to work up from a low position. So the hands are in their lowest position about here in the golf swing, then the handle works up, the pelvis works up, the leg extends. So in order to train that, one of the best things you can use again is an alignment rod, stick it on the ground and drag it up. Drag it up. Just like that. And then we're gonna do a couple of neat golf hitting drills that are gonna focus on the, engaging that same movement. So doing that alignment rod drill as a warm up before you play for me is ideal to motivate the body to move the right way. Then when we go and hit the golf ball, we can do some startups from here. So just swing the golf club back to kind of left arm parallel. Then from there, try and feel, okay, can I hit the ball from there as far as I can? And what we're trying to feel we do is move up and through the golf ball. So again, I would do 10 balls doing that exercise after you do the rod drill. And that completes the cycle of how we want the pelvis to move in the golf swing. Motivating it, making it move, making it move laterally, making it move up and making it rotate. We could add an extra rotational element to the finish where we work more on posting the hip round the corner. Good way of feeling that is put a, a club again on your, across your body like this. You could put a bungee here, tie it across somewhere and feel you pull against the resistance of the bungee just to start feeling that rotational force. And um, you know, we're trying to with the obviously the lower half create vertical forces, lateral forces and rotational forces to maximize what we do. If you follow this guide, you moving your pelvis the way I want you to, you will create effortless golf. Good luck and see you back here soon.